um, by Sean. I'm not sure, wait, which Sean is that? Okay. I think that was a Sean on YouTube. How long have you been playing the piano? Uh, now I've been uh, learning intensely uh, for three years. I started just three years ago to uh, learn and like be, you know, more um, like I decided exactly two years ago to um, use it, you know, as a new format for my music. Um, so yeah, so it's been just just uh, two years at least that I started to learn. Okay, did you teach yourself or did you take lessons? A little bit of both. Um, I um, I looked for a teacher at first. I looked for a teacher that would like um, you know be able to teach me because I'm not. I never learned music, reading sheet music. Um, you know, like just a da -da -da, you know that kind of stuff or singing with sheet music and I don't have anything against it but it's not the way you know I do things I can I can read it because at first I thought oh do I need to read sheet music you know to learn the piano and I, I wanted to explore it a little bit so I did explore it a little bit at first and all, my ear would always go faster and I honestly don't like having my nose you know like staring at a paper when I'm performing I'm like what you know so um so I found a teacher at first, a, a wonderful, you know, teacher that knew a lot of different methods. That was in Cleveland, and uh, he uh, developed a method for me. He told me, I think you need to follow that. And, and so the method was to use the ear, you know, of course. And, um, and he taught me a little bit of jazz patterns, chord progressions. It's I guess it's more jazz or like contemporary style, you know, one two five, you know, kind of chord progression looking at the, you know, scene on the scale, who's the one, you know, and then when you have a chord, you go from the one, you know, to the, you know, the, 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 the five, and then to the two, or something like that. Uh, this is just an example of some of the things I did. So, that was that, and then I, you know, moved to New York, I got another teacher, I read book, I read a book too, um, this was just like about, mainly about performance anxiety. And then, and then I moved to find another teacher that I really, really like, and he follows this method too. Um, as far as singing, who's your favorite artist? What's your favorite songs? My favorite artist uh, on top, top, top. I think really who's on the top? It's Madonna, and then it's Oasis. This is really on the top. I have such a huge. I really, really admire. Madonna for everything she's done. He, some things maybe, you know, were kind of like creepy, but you know, uh, I still think um, I respect her a lot for everything she's done. She kept reinventing herself, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, as far as Oasis, it's like, <laughs> it's a real passion for the band. Uh, when I was when I was a little, you know, teen or whatever, you know, I had that Leanne's posters in my room. Yes, I know. Uh, I really, really like Noel Gallagher's songwriting. Um, I think he's just genius. Um, what's my favorite song? So there's a lot of favorite songs. And sometimes I go into, you know, listening to this or this artist and then, you know, I listen to this or this song. <sighs> my favorite song, one... Is there, let me try to think about it, you see, I have a hard time trying to think. Is there one song that I always come back to and that feels like home? Well, Wonder War of Oasis, of, of course, you know. And uh, uh, I think uh, Madonna, Madonna is really the whole ray of light album. And there's probably Power of Goodbye in there that I really like. And then, uh, then you know, I like the Cardigans. Don't blame your daughter. Uh, this is a song that I, you know, I come back to often. Um, uh, 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 I don't know. It's like Stevie Wonder, Superstition. You know, and there's a lot of. I would have to like make like a huge list and think about it actually. 
What programs, programs do you use to produce? Uh, well, you know, I think it's, I thought it was clear in my, uh, how I record my sound video, but I use Pro Tools and I use Reason and then, um, I use Platin and stuff like that. Uh, I'm looking to get, uh, maybe for my next release, like a program that's going to do specifically like beats and, uh, you know, because I think in Reason, um, maybe, yeah. It's taking me a little bit of time to find the beats that you know, I want to do, and maybe with a different program. You know. But uh, I love, I love Pro Tools. Um, I like it uh, because I actually like uh, uh, using, you know, computer to do that because I can actually see, I see the wave of the sounds, the sound waves, and <laughs> that. And uh, so when I hear something, it's also visual, and I think. This is great, great, great. I really like that design. And it's just really awesome quality. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> you record and it comes in there and it's like, wow. It's, it's just, it's very true to what you're doing. Sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's like, wait, you know, something, you know. I have, you know, like a microphone too. But, um. Okay, next. Uh, what's your favorite color, movie, food, chords, really? Superhero, haha, and <laughs> uh, okay, my favorite color. Sometimes it's yellow. Um, sometimes it's like white, blue. You know, it depends on my uh, mood and you know which chakra color you know I want to like breathe in. You know, on that day. I know that sounds very like, you know, but yes, uh, colors have a huge effect on your mind. I used to uh, like black and blue as my favorite colors but um, you know uh, we want changes I try not to wear all black anymore uh, I realize that yeah it's kind of like depressing um, black all the time but it's kind of classy uh, too so if I wear it you know I try to wear it for a reason um, 